I come heading here. As someone who doesn't celebrate Christmas, I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this time of the year. On the one hand, I love it because there's so much good candies in stores and everywhere in the city there are beautiful lights and decorations and those cute little Christmas markets and there's nothing I love more than walking through the city center at night with all the beautiful lights everywhere. But on the other hand, Christmas Day itself can be the most boring day ever. Not only are all the stores closed, and the movies, and the theaters, and everything you can do in your free time. No, all your friends are sitting at home celebrating with their families and getting presents while you're just sitting at home and I'm like, eh. <laughs> No, not really. But it would be funny. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> Want to know another horrible thing about Christmas? Public transportation doesn't work properly. You know how long it took me to get home last night? Half an hour longer than it should have. You know why? Because trains decide to come every 15 minutes. I grew up in the city. I need my trains and buses and subways and trams and everything to come every two to three minutes. I, I don't have half an hour to wait. Well, actually, I do have half an hour because it's Christmas and there's nothing to do. Yeah. Not the point. Point is, I need my public transportation to be here in like a second. I'm that generation. I need this. Basically, there's no good reason to leave the house on Christmas Day because there's nothing to do. Unless you want to, like, go for a walk. Unless you're, like, that kind of person who, like, peeks through people's windows see what they got for Christmas when you are not celebrating Christmas. But then again, staying at home isn't an option either because what are you going to do? If you go on social media, all you're going to see is, like, p people telling you Merry Christmas in all kinds of languages and then people posting their presents and then beautiful, beautiful Christmas trees and then you get really weird ideas and... Try to decorate your own Christmas tree, basically. What are you doing? This is not what it looks like. Basically, so I try to get so off social media and what I do, I go on YouTube because YouTube is usually a nice change to what's happening on the outside. But then I go on YouTube and everyone's uploading a Christmas related video. I mean, even me who doesn't celebrate Christmas is doing Christmas related video. What is this? What, what, is it, what is like the world become? And then my phone buzzes and I get excited because maybe, just maybe, I found someone to text for the evening. And that turns out it's just another Merry Christmas text. I don't celebrate Christmas. Stop texting me Merry Christmas! I know you mean well, but I just find it weird. It's weird. We Even weirder than when this happens. Hi! So what did you get for Christmas? Uh, nothing. I don't celebrate Christmas. What? Are you like Jewish or something? So finally, I decided to put away my phone and my laptop because they're just annoying. And then I turn on the TV, which is usually a sign that I'm very, very, very desperate. But what do you see on TV? You see the same five Christmas movies every single year. I'm wondering, do they even make new Christmas movies? Because I'm pretty sure I know all of them by heart. I mean, I totally get why they would not make new movies, because who except for me watches them? Actually, some of them are really cute. Okay, so all of this probably makes it sound like I absolutely hate Christmas, which is absolutely not true. I love Christmas a lot, and this year, I got sucked into the Christmas spirit so much that I bought my Muslim friend's Christmas present. Hi, I got you a gift. For what? There were great Christmas deals, and they weren't too expensive. Actually, they were not expensive at all. I just thought they were really cute. And I wanted to use my Disney's Frozen wrapper. Christmas is a beautiful time. Uh, hey, thanks for watching this far. Um, I just wanted to let you know that Superman, aka Lily Singh, and I are best friends now. Um, she basically told me so by putting my face in her beautiful, beautiful video. And she didn't just put me anywhere, she put me right in the beginning. I know, I know what you're thinking. <laughs> exactly how I reacted when I first found out. And I'm actually just waiting for Lily to, you know, call me and like go out for lunch or something. Um, she's being shy right now, but I know eventually it'll happen. It'll be cool. Um, anyway, I just felt obligated to tell you guys about this. You should totally check out that video right here because it's a cool video actually. It's like nice video. It's inspiring. 